Are you excited to get out of the classroom a little bit? More than 30 years spent in the Air Force. Eric Dudash spent several of those years in war zones. I'm here to tell you it's a-okay to not be okay. These days, Eric never travels alone. This is my uh, service dog, Phantom. They spent a couple of hours with middle schoolers in Fort Payne on Monday. Life has changed. I mean, uh, being able to come to these schools and invest in our youth, uh, talk to them a little about patriotism, I couldn't have done that before. So if I get anxious today, he'll, he'll start singing. That's why he's named Phantom. He's like an opera singer, Phantom of the Opera. I first met Eric and Phantom about two months after they met. That was almost two years ago. You can tell from Phantom singing, this was a hard day for Eric. Memorial Day 2021. Yeah. This was right before Eric took the stage to give a heartfelt speech in Scottsboro about what that day is all about. It's not necessarily for the veteran. because we relive those last seconds before our fallen were called up. You see Memorial Day, it's for every American. When you hear Eric's story, you quickly understand why he gets emotional when he talks about Memorial Day and where that anxiety comes from. I had 167 uh, temporary duty assignments to where there would be the little two-week or three-week or mission that you uh, might uh, help with uh, hostage rescue in South America. 17 deployments total. The first combat Eric saw was in Desert Storm. When I came back, I realized that I had an anger issue. I talked to Eric about his military career in the spring of last year at Warrior Freedom Service Dogs in Flintstone, Georgia, the place Eric met Phantom. I struggled a lot um, uh, with, with, I would say, coping uh, uh, with survivor guilt, uh, with um, uh, when I got back from Iraq is when I really noticed it. Um, uh, so, you know, having friends, you see them that morning for breakfast and then you don't see them that, that evening for chow. Phantom picks up Eric's anxiety from the smell of his breath, and that is when Phantom sings. Kept thinking service dogs were more of a physical type of uh, form of medicine, I'll call it. Um, you know, if I didn't have a limb, someone, the dog could help pick up that item for me or what have you. Um, uh, but then I quickly realized that, that, um, that service dogs uh, could start helping with those mental wounds that you don't see. Of course, he wakes me up from nightmares by the scent of my breath. And now, wherever Eric goes. I have a habit of grabbing my head when I have a nightmare. I don't know why I do it. My wife, she knows, that's when she woke me up. So what'll happen is when I grab my head, when we were in training together, she'd wake me up and I had this little dry cotton ball and I had to put it in my mouth. He talks about the life-changing miracle that is by his side every day and every night. He would get a treat when he went to that specific cotton ball. And then they'd put a hundred cotton balls out, all these placebos and mine. And then he, he would go right straight to mine. And then what they do is once they get them by treats, you yeah. know, and once they get them to do that, they have this little box, it's a, it's a light switch. Yeah. That's got a little light on it, battery operated. And now not, he didn't get a treat just for going to the cotton ball. He got a treat for turning the lights on. Eric Dudash is on medication from the VA for anxiety, nightmares, and a brain injury. He says he's been able to cut that medication by more than 60% since getting Phantom. Also on Veterans Day, Eric was honored with the Alabama Governor's Award, which is the Veteran of the Year in the state. And there's much more to the Warrior Freedom Service Dog story. We'll tell you more next time on The Price of Freedom.